Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel doing a paid review. This is a paid review for Jack 21, paid review 21 QB 136. Quick, quick, quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Submariner date. Hi Archie, thank you for all the information and thoughts you've provided in your reviews. I always enjoy hearing your opinion. I've sent you 50 US dollars and just want to get your opinion on building my collection. I have a Rolex Datejust 36 mil. Wife wears it now as I am drawn to larger watches. Also, I have a Panerai Pam 170 with bracelet, which doesn't get much use now. And my favorite daily, which is a Tudor Palagos left hand drive. I enjoy this watch a great deal and it runs minus two seconds per, per day despite full-time use including sports desk and occasional ocean diving i prefer divers now that i am also looking to add a dress watch later i really have two questions as i develop my collection divers the first is to have your thoughts on the rolex sea dweller 43 a glass hoot cq Panorama date 42 in blue or the blank pang 50 fathoms grand date also with the clear case back I appreciate being able to see the movement. These will be for daily use and occasional dress use They will see the ocean a few times a year, but mostly a desk and pool I know your affinity with Rolex, but also the other pieces are higher horological pieces that may when purchased used hold their value while the pre-owned Rolex watches seem also to have plateaued in, in the secondary market I'm in line for a new Sea Dweller 43 but who knows I really want to know whether you think the other watches will be uh, as durable as the Rolex and what other issues I may encounter with owning either of them such as maintenance over the Rolex dress watch for my dress watch, I was thinking the Patek Gondola 15135, 5135G perpetual calendar or maybe a Sky Dweller in that 30,000 price range. I was wondering why the 5135 is not as sought after as the others. I enjoy the perpetual calendars on those watches. What are your thoughts? on those two or maybe a different suggestion in the thirty thousand dollar range thanks again arch best regards jack thank you jack for getting a paid review done here i do appreciate it so let's have a look here we've got a guy he's uh, going through life he's doing okay he's given the date just 36 to the wife great uh, he's got a Tudor Palagos left hand, yes. Uh, and he's asking about the divers. Now, i got to be totally honest with you. This is a bit of an oxymoron. I think the Glass Hoot original and the Blank Pane, I wouldn't get too caught up with these two brands. When it comes to divers, you've really got to understand you can't really have something uh, high horology as a really cool diver. In fact, I've got the Submariner, Submariner date, and one of the beautiful things about this watch is the fact that it's steel, it doesn't have any superfluous superfluous aids now I gotta tell you you make a comment that you want to be it's you like to be able to see a display back well that ain't terribly good for diving let's be truthful there stainless steel is really the best material when you start substituting the display back you're gonna you're adding compromises Next, you'll tell me you want a chronograph dive watch. There you go. 
you've just added two more holes into this watch you're going to destroy the integrity personally I think if you're looking if you're serious and you want a dive watch the two brands I'd be looking at is Rolex and Omega Omega and if you wanted a cheaper option maybe a Breitling Super Ocean that's where I'd be going I wouldn't be looking at adding a display back you can't mix Hort Horology with divers that easily it's going to become a compromise now I've, I've got to be totally honest with you what I've generally found is that as far as ruggedness goes just because a wristwatch is made of stainless steel it doesn't make it rugged in fact <clears throat> many of the royal oaks from AP are still very delicate so my advice to you to be completely honest Stick with, stick with Rolex. That's where I'd be going. Now, I gotta tell you, if you can't afford the Rolex, a Tudor Black Bay would be a great alternative. I think that's a great bang per buck diver. And remember, just because you may have a sea dweller or a deep sea, you gotta get this thing pressure tested every 12 months just to make sure she's okay because you'd hate for this bugger not to be okay now personally i think one of the best divers at the mark at the moment would be the uh the deep sea the rolex deep sea that's a mean chunky diver and the roll and the omega pro prof those are two serious divers i think the glass suit and the blank pane, they're more of a fashion watch than a true dive watch. I'm gonna get a lot of flack for saying that. Forget fancy display backs. If you're going for a diver, you want something as much steel as possible. So, personally, uh, I'd, Sea Dweller 43 is an amazing watch. That's a great watch. I wouldn't rule out the Rolex Submariner. The Submariner, very hard to get, mind you, very hard to get. And it's kind of the perfect compromise between dress and diver. I mean, the Sea Dweller goes deeper, but it's very functional and usable. No, no display back. This here is, is pure purpose. So I, I wouldn't be getting too involved display backs. That's going to compromise any dive watch. So I definitely say to you, I reckon Rolex or Omega would be the way I'd go. The glass hoot or the blank pane. These are kind of, they're very nice looking watches, but those aren't divers, those are fancy dress watches. So that's that's what I would say there. Now, as far as the, uh, the Gondolo 135, that's an annual calendar. That's not a perpetual calendar. Perpetual calendars are way, 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 way more expensive. Um, I'll just double, double, double check this. Let's do a, a Google double check just to make sure what I'm telling you is right. The Patek 5135, 5135. Yeah, that's a, uh, let's have a look here. It's an annual calendar, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great looking piece. It is a very, I, I quite like, uh, I don't think it's that cheap to be honest with you. I don't think it's that cheap. I think it's, it's cheap compared to perpetual calendars. So what's the difference between the two? Well, an annual calendar, you need to adjust it every February because an annual calendar, it goes, it knows the difference between Months with 30 or 31 days, it knows the difference. 
and it needs to be set every February, leap years, etc., you know, whereas a perpetual calendar, it actually can work that out. Very clever indeed. So, the 5135, now that you realize it's an annual calendar, they're kind of, you're in the same league, 5146, uh, 5396, they're also annual calendars. It's in that, in that realm. I quite like the Torno case. The circle cases, like the Calatrava and uh, the complications, they seem to be a bit more popular at the moment, but there's nothing wrong with a 5135. I love that Torno case. That Torno case is gorgeous. So, 30,000. So, i got to be honest with you. The only thing is, that sort of watch there, are you going to wear that all the time? Maybe a simple, a very simple uh, Calatrava would be better. A lot cheaper as a dress watch. And you don't have to continually set the damn thing. So, you got to decide which way you want to go, Jack. But i got to be honest with you, man. I don't know whether... Um, that's quite a delicate watch there. You'd also want to be careful with it. Make sure no moisture. It's definitely not waterproof. It's got water resistance, but not real good waterproofing. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I would say that. But uh, I, I think myself, you want to get a Sea Dweller 43, good luck. I think eventually... Um, you're going to give up on the AD. The AD is not going to come through. AD disappointment. Maybe you're better off just to pay grey market and be done with it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how I would would do things. So, look, I got to tell you, um, I think the, the glass hoot and the blank pane, very nice looking pieces, but... They're not a true dive watch. True dive watch. Stick with Rolex or Omega. That's where I'd be going. The glass suit is more of a fashion accessory. I mean, yeah, I understand the history of blank pain. Yes, 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 yes. But that's not what the brand is like today. And as for the paddock... Yeah, I think I think um, five one three five. It's a great watch. It's an annual calendar. It's not a perpetual. Perpetual is they're kind of double, double, double. So I think it, it's it's not so much. I don't think the five one three five is really. It's it's an annual calendar. It's it sits in the range nicely. It's not really. A bargain. I don't think. I think you might have seen it as a bargain. Well, if it was a perpetual, it would be, but it'd be double the money. Okay, guys, that's the review for today. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Thank you, Jack, for that opportunity. Guys, don't forget. I can't survive on Google Ads. I need more paid reviews to keep me pumping out the vids. Please think about getting a paid review done. It would really help me. Paid reviews keep me full time on YouTube. Without these paid reviews, I can't survive. So guys, paid reviews, it's the way to go. Get a paid review now. Get a paid review. That's what I say to my audience. Get a paid review, 50 US dollars, help us out, and I'll see you in the next one. The other thing is I can also, if you look in the description, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month, and it keeps me on YouTube. Without your support, very hard to survive. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, 
I desperately need to do more paid reviews. The backlog is pretty well non-existent. Guys, I desperately need to do paid reviews. I charge 50 US dollars for a paid review. I'll tell you what I think of your collection. I'll give you some additions or uh, and I'll answer some questions you may have about your collection. This could be a perfect Christmas gift for a friend. Send me details on their collection. Send me details of what they've got and I'll give you some advice. Guys, this could be a great present to give somebody. And also, guys, if you've never had a paid review from Archie Luxury, man, this could be a great way for you to get a paid review and share it with all your friends. Guys, I desperately need some more paid reviews. The cupboard is bare. I don't have many left at all to do. I desperately want to do more paid reviews. Please get a paid review request in. Email me, archieluxury72 at gmail.com. PayPal to the same address. It's 50 US dollars. And I'd love to tell you what I think of your collection. I'm Archie Luxury. See you in the next paid review. Urgently, guys, I need some paid reviews. Hey, guys, Archie Luxury. We're gearing up to Christmas, and I want to tell you about Archie Luxury advertising packages. Advertising packages. So, guys, let me give you the drum. Let me give you the squirt. Let me tell you the story. So, what have we got here for you? We got some really good packages. What have we got? Advertising packages. Do you want a 15 second insert? 15 second insert into every Archie Luxury video and Paul Pluto channel video. 15 second insert into each video. $200 for a month. $200 for a month. If you want a Rolling script, every video for a month, $100 for the month. You'll get your rolling script into each video I produce. Frid space, Frid space is pretty full at the moment. I will be advising when I'm taking more fridge advertisers. Let me know if there's any Christmas deal I can do for you. I'm Archie Luxury. Advertise and become a winner winner.